Hey, I'm Jordan Berry, and this is communism. Oh! <laughs> The word communism has a very negative connotation in America. You dirty pinko <clears throat> commie bat! This is mostly because of the oppressive dictatorships such as those of STALIN! Ironically, communism has little to do with these ideas. Communism is a social theory developed by Karl Marx in the late 19th century. He proposed a return to a primitive sort of society, where property is owned by the public and not individuals, where there are no political leaders and everybody works to help and helps to the best of their ability with no material incentive, but the incentive of a continuing to survive. There is no starvation, no war. However, in the Communist Manifesto, Marx explains that this society is impossible to achieve without first having a revolution of the proletariat, or working class, which will lead to an oppressive dictatorship. The idea of communism comes after yet another revolution, opposing the government of the first. The idea spread among scholars, college students, and intellectuals all over the world very quickly. Their immediate goal was to start these proletarian revolutions, thus hastening the process to communism. Hey kids, you wanna get naked and start the revolution? No, Karl Marx, we don't wanna get naked and start the revolution. Oh, okay then. We all know about Soviet Russia, Lenin, Stalin, and the Cold War. But now we're going to talk about the revolutions of those who were inspired by the Russians. Cuba became communist through the efforts of Fidel Castro, his brother, and a man named Che Guevara. Hey, everybody! Che Guevara was born of an upper-middle-class family in Argentina. While traveling around Latin America as a young man, he began to see the injustices of the capitalist system. Discrimination and poverty were everywhere, with the richest people being the worst people. He fought and succeeded in Cuba, and then Castro became the leader of the nation. When Castro began to falter from the communist ideas in which they agreed upon during the revolution, Che left to go help other communist revolutions in Africa. Unfortunately, none were successful, and Che was executed in Bolivia in October of 1967. He is one of the few communists who actually believed in the dream of helping everybody, and did not change in his view that capitalism was humanity's greatest enemy. Ironically, his face is now mass-produced onto t-shirts, hats, mugs, and shoes, and sold to millions of rebellious teenagers who have no clue what he actually did. Means cleavage, cleavage, cleavage And I start to miss you, baby, sometimes In 1927, China split into two factions, the Communists and the Nationalists The Communists led by Miao won the war, and China remains Communists to this day Hoo yeah! Communism has been defeated by American propaganda and people not actually knowing what it is. From the Vietnam War to the Cold War, communism is given a much worse name than it deserves, and its once vast area of cultural diversion has now been reduced to a few small areas across the world that don't actually follow the original ideas introduced by Marx in the first place, but turn it into a corrupt and oppressive form of government. Whether communism will rise again, or it will be forgotten... <laughs> Whether communism will rise again or will be forgotten by history has yet to be decided, but its impact on the world will remain. <laughs>